Hey, good day, good day, everybody. How you doing? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining the Real Brian Glaze Gibbs YouTube channel. Hey, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you support. Make sure you share. You know what? Get your signed copy of the Beyond Lucky book, The Brian Glaze Gibbs Story, a true story of crack, money, murder, and redemption. If I can change, anybody can change. I was once the problem. Now what I'm doing, I'm seeking to be part of the solution. You know, today I'm going to talk about the notorious blue boy, Louis Rizzato. Louis Rizzato is back in court today, January 25th, 2023. He turned himself in on January 3rd, 2023 for attempted murder. So once again, he got, a, you know, he turned himself in, he got processed, and he went back through the system. Sit back and think about it. You know what? This man came home after doing 39 years. And how long did he last in a free society? We all watch. You know, right now, if you saw YouTube, Vlad TV, Vlad did a hell of an interview on Blue Boy. Besides that, him and Mike Tyson. You know what I'm saying? Right now, he sat down with the, you know, former heavyweight boxing champion, Mike Tyson. And they spoke about when they used to be in juvenile together. Years ago, when they was both causing havoc and destroying the community as little snotty-nosed kid. They spoke about that, okay? Now, you look at Bobby Smurf came along and said, yo, man, Blue was my man. And how many people talk about that? How hard was it for Blue to adapt to being back into society after being institutionalized for over 39 years? When you look at it and you see, you know what, your heart go out to them. Because to me, the individual's out there trying, trying to do the right thing. He got a job. Okay? Big baby, Glenn Davis, you know what I'm saying, from the Boston Celtics. You know, right now, retired NBA player gave him a job in the dispensary. You know what? Security. Folks, is that a good match? But once again, like Glenn said, he was dead. He was reliable. He would come in, did what he needed to do, and went about his business. So what happened? What wound up happening from my understanding? Guess what? Somebody came in there. Okay? Was they coming in to rob or whatever? But a gun was pulled out. It's not like Blue had the gun. The gun was pulled out. And right now is, for some reason, this individual, Blue Boy, was able to disarm this individual and get the gun. What happened next? I don't know. Only thing we know when we start hearing, Blue Boy's on the run. Blue Boy's on the run. Initially, people was hush-hush about it. You didn't know why he was on the run. Everybody think it was a body. But no, it was not a body. It was attempted murder. So once again, he turned himself in on January 3rd, 2023, to face the music. Imagine him going back inside. Right now, with what type of psychological effect, you know what I'm saying, do it have on him? You know what I'm saying? You was once caged like an animal for 39 years and you got a taste of freedom. Now you got to go backwards. From a psychological standpoint, man, that to me right now would destroy me. But once again, only the strong survive. So imagine what he's going through, his thought process. So he been in there, what, now 22 days. And now he's appearing in front of a, you know what I'm saying, a, 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 a court. He appear in front of a judge in court in front of the district attorney. And as they read up the charge, automatically right now in court, what's going to happen? Automatically, he got hit with a parole violation because he violated parole because he actually shot somebody. Despite a lot of people look at it, you know what? Self-defense. He didn't have the gun, but there's no self-defense law in New York City. So what's going to happen? Now, what we're looking at is, you know, it's a court procedure. You know, what really happened on a first court appearance, second court appearance, third court appearance, fourth court appearance? Nothing. They just going through the preliminary. Okay? They just going. He just showing up, not saying that he's going to even reach the courtroom. He might just come, come there to Manhattan court just for bullpen therapy. They shock you up. You get up early in the morning. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you go through the mess hall. You know, then you go through the whole receiving area. Before they call your name as you're waiting in the bullpen and they shack you up, take you to court, not saying that you're going to see your lawyer, not saying you're going to see the judge and district attorney, not saying you're going to even step foot into the courtroom. But this is what you have to go through. So once again, this is only the beginning of the stage. 
He's not going nowhere. They're not going to give him no bail because he already got a parole violation. And even if he get a bail, what the bail going to be? So like I told you right now is when you sit back and you look at this whole situation, guess what? What do we learn from that? What we learn from that, anybody that's coming home, stay away from any situation that might cause you to react a certain way, whether you're defending yourself or not. Anywhere you think, regardless, everybody say the dispensary, marijuana is legal now. But what come along with that? This cat came in to rob it. He out there, he trying to defend the, you know, he do his job and play security. And look what happened. He's back in a world of trouble. And you know, like I've been reading the comment, been listening, because you got a lot of people that was rooting for this guy, man. I remember I was rooting for the guy. Because like he say, when he was telling Vlad, man, like, you know what? He was on his bike when he first got out. And he went into, you know what I'm saying right now? He's coming out of T-Mobile store. And this guy was looking at him, talking all crazy, young cat. Talking all crazy to him. And like he told Vlad, listen, man, I am a lion. That is a poodle. I will rip. He will rip him apart. But once again, he said, nah. What he did was, it's like he vomiting. And the pose he spit in the commode, he swallowed it. And he got on his bike and he drove away because he knew it wasn't worth it. And sometime right now, when you come home, you got to keep that same mindset. You got to remember, man, you got too much to lose. We got to stop being like, you know, putting our pride away when it's not necessary. Temper is what gets us into trouble. Pride is what keeps us there. And what I'm trying to say right now is when you look at the situation, what Blue Boy is going through right now, as he sit in a bullpen or if he get the opportunity to appear in front of a judge, right now is he asking that question. Why me? Why me? And like I said right now, folks, listen, man, before you step foot into that courtroom, before you commit a crime, before you do something stupid, ask yourself, why me? Is it worth it? Hit the like button, subscribe, share. Brian Glaze Gibbs, one love.